Right, so welcome back to another video. This time we've got this bucket to sort out. As you can see, it is now no longer very straight. So rather than trying to straighten this edge out, I think we'll just chop this edge off, replace this edge, and then I think we'll weld a ring onto there and put a winch in there and winch the flower back up straight. The only thing is, it's, you can see it's pulled out in there as well. And it's also buckled that side in. I was going to cut it off of the ground at this edge, but I think I'm going to do it with a gas torch now. I've got the majority of the edge cut off with the gas. Um, I think I'm going to gouge them welds out there with the carbon arc gouger. And then I'm only blasting the welds away. I'm not taking any metal out of the sides. And then we'll use carbon arc gouger to remove that lip of old weld as well. back and see if it'll pull straight. back a bit straighter but you can see that middle gusset is higher than that end one and this end one because it's pulled out there so either we're gonna have to try and winch that back or just chop a bit out of it so when I put the edge on it'll sit flush across all three of them. I'm just gonna smooth this weld out now with a big grinder, nine inch grinder. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is run plasma cutter down there, either side, put a cut down there with a plasma cutter, and I should be able to knock that that bow there, I should be able to knock that flat, and then plasma cutter them bits of cracks out, and then hopefully I should be able to winch from there back to there to pull that straight again, hopefully. <laughs> winch down as much as a dare. There's still a bit of a gap there but it's not too bad I can weld that up. When you look across the three points the one in the middle is slightly higher still. I'll just have to grind a bit off that. Obviously I'll have to straighten this out a bit more yet but no, it shouldn't be too bad.
So we've got the new edge sat on there, but there's a big gap under there. <laughs> sat down on that end one and that middle one. So to solve that problem, I think I'm gonna have to, I can't cut any off that, because if I cut any off that, there ain't gonna be enough left. So I think I'm gonna have to cut it off from about there down to there and remove that bit completely. So it sits down on that end and then make a new one of them and then weld it back in afterwards, I think. I think that'd be the best way to do it. On. some places it's higher and some places it's lower um, so I'll have to tack it where it's right and then knock it with a hammer where it's a bit lower a bit higher and then tack it and then work my way along So I've got that edge tacked on now. The way I did that was I clamped that real tight onto the edge and I knocked that wedge in there and it pulls this plate up. Um, so it's flush on the inside, so there's no lip on the inside. Right, I've got that plasma out to go in there. That'll, that'll weld in there. <coughs> the edge has got a little bit of a bow on it, so I'll have to pull it back down with a chain winch and then tack it onto that and then that should keep it straight. I've got them uh, slits welded up that I did with the plasma. I'm just gonna weld them plates over the top now just to help replace any strength that it's lost. out uh, 10 inches at a time I'm gonna do so that way the heat hopefully shouldn't shouldn't make it bow Side, weld it up. I'll turn it upside down, well, turn it right way up now, and then weld that side. All right, I've got it turned the right way up now, ready to weld. I've got it clamped down to the bench, it's always best to have things clamped down when you're welding it. 
and so I'll get that get them welded up around there and then I'll turn it on its side to do them on the other side easier than doing an out of position weld just turn it so it's flat Gussets in there, they're all welded up. Edges welded all the way, top side, bottom side. And it's lovely and straight. But yeah, job done. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you can think of any ways I can make my videos better, let me know because this is only the third video I've made. So, yeah, let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you, hopefully see you in the next video.